Hello, in this video we will discuss about the polycystic ovarian syndrome. It is also known as PCOS for short. So what is the polycystic ovarian syndrome? Basically the polycystic ovarian syndrome is due to the increased androgen in the female and decrease the estrogen. Uh, female hormone will decrease while the increase the androgen the male hormone which that will trigger the polycystic ovarian syndrome so let's begin to understand first of all the uh, uh, first of all the production of egg and the function so this is the hypothalamus and this is the pituitary gland hypothalamus release the gonadotropin releasing hormone through neuroscritic cell will bind with the adenohypophysis of the pituitary gland the cell after the binding it will release the folic stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone so this is a female reproductive system which does contain ovary folic fol fallopian tube vagina uterus and cervix so this is the mammary gland so remember this basically uh, we will zoom the ovary for understanding the ovulation and menstrual cycle so what is the menstrual cycle first is the uh, follicular cycle in this way the follicle will be developed when bind with the follicle stimulating hormone uh, with a primary follicle to form a mature follicle or secondary follicle so in this way here is the luteinizing hormone will also bind with the thecal cell while the granulosa cell will bind with the follicle stimulating hormone and in this way the estrogen will be formed the follicle contain many cell so in this way the estrogen will release from the thecal cell due to the luteinizing hormone binding and will trigger the ovulation so the ovulation will occur and uh, ovum will be released into the fallopian tube so after the ovulation the corpus luteum formation the yellowish glandular structure which that produce itself the progesterone this progesterone will target to the endometrium uh, vascular vascularization more and thickness while on the other hand the progesterone will inhibit the gonadotropin releasing hormone from the hypothalamus so the negative feedback will be occur this negative feedback is beneficial for the inhibition of the further follicle maturation and that is why if the pregnancy will occur so the progesterone will uh, increase and maintain the uh, uh, corpus luteum this is the gland and the inhibition the stop further follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone to ovulation more so it will stop so on the other hand when we will discuss about the polycystic ovarian syndrome PCOS basically this is uh, the follicle stimulating hormone will decrease due to the genetic defect or other factors which that will lead to dysfunction of the hypothalamus which that release or the pituitary gland so in this way here is the polycystic ovary formation due to the hair is the primary follicle so the follicle stimulating hormone will not bind because the lack of follicle stimulating hormone so in this way here is the uh, luteinizing hormone uh, will bind so after first of all we should need to understand the first cycle after this is the luteinizing hormone will increase will bind with the thecal cell after the binding with the thecal cell that follicle stimulating hormone uh, will not bind the basically is the uh, 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 in this way the progesterone will release due to the luteinizing hormone binding this progesterone will inhibit the follicle stimulating hormone more and luteinizing hormone more and in this way the ovulation will not occur because the follicle stimulating hormone is important for the ovulation so the ovulation will not occur and not mature the follicle and in this way the corpus luteum will be not formed because after ovulation the corpus luteum is uh, formed the corpus luteum, uh, corpus luteum will be formation of corpus luteum after the ovulation so the no progesterone will release and in this way the no gonadotropin releasing hormone will inhibit 
so in this way the increasing of the luteinizing hormone but the follicle stimulating hormone already decrease will lead to um, uh, more cyst formation this cyst formation that increase more and more and not ovulation that is why it is known as a polycystic ovarian syndrome so this is the bigger picture of the secondary follicle which that's contain granulosa cell and the thecal cell and inside is the ovum and the follicle this is known as so let's begin to understand the two cell the thecal cell and granulosa cell the thecal cell is responsible for the binding of the luteinizing hormone because the higher sensitivity of the luteinizing hormone while the follicle stimulating hormone more sensitive for the granulosa cell so in this way when release the gonadotropin releasing hormone from the pituitary gland will basically produce the luteinizing hormone but the follicle stimulating hormone will lack so in this way the adeno hypophysis involved at anterior pituitary gland so this two type of hormone will produce but the follicle stimulating hormone will not produce or decrease so the sensitivity will be decreased and in this way here you can see this is the thecal cell which that is primary messenger to the second messenger cyclic amp will phosphorylation of the protein kinase a to krebs and it will target to the dna as a transcription factor to produce the p protein 45 oc 17 and in this way you can understand the uh, cholesterol which that will be convert into the progesterone this cholesterol will convert into the progesterone and this progesterone will convert into the testosterone but in this case uh, testosterone will produce but progesterone will uh, inhibit before the ovulation that is inhibit the follicle stimulating hormone after the follicle stimulating hormone inhibition that means the testosterone conversion from the granulosa cell will inhibit so on the other hand here is the testosterone will convert it, it is known as the androgen and dihydrotestosterone is also produced this androgen will move into the blood circulatory system rather than go into the uh, granulosa cell because the testosterone when for example go into the uh, granulosa cell so for example we can understand just only but in this case the polycystic ovarian syndrome this will not happen so the same mechanism to transcription factor from the secondary uh, messenger to crab to protein kinase to produce the aromatase enzyme this aromatase enzyme is special for the testosterone conversion into the estradiol and estrogen this estradiol and estrogen is responsible for the ovulation but in this case will not happen so that is why the testosterone will move into the blood circulatory system but in this case here is a pancreas which that is release also insulin higher sensitivity will bind with the thecal cell to produce more testosterone because it is anabolic and in this way here you can see this is the glucose will move inside to function more the thecal cell to produce more and late the type 2 diabetes mellitus in late risk factor so in this way the sign and symptom can be a deep voice fe uh, uh, hypomestia the decrease of the mammary gland obesity due to type 2 diabetes mellitus in late and the abdominal stretch mark on the other hand the thick uh, sorry thin leg due to estrogen decrease because the thick leg is due to the estrogen while here is the thick hairs or uh, even baldness and fat pads buffalo hump will be occur here in the back region and acne will be produced due to the higher level of androgen while here is the basically the endometrium cancer will be occur in the uterine wall so the endometrium cancer why because uh, the progesterone will be inhibit the decrease of the progesterone will not proliferate and the thickness and the nourishment of the uh, helping to maintain the uh, 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 uterine wall endometrium so the endometrial cancer due to here you can understand in the normal function uh, progesterone will target to the uterine wall as endometrium and in this way the endometrium will develop after the pregnancy and before the pregnancy 
so in this way the endometrium will develop and thickness will not occur and the progesterone will not surge and in this way the endometrial cancer will cause on the other hand the progesterone inhibition to not develop endometrium in each cycle so the each cycle the endometrium development lack of development so in this way the uh, basically diagnosis we will discuss so the spirolactone which that will inhibit the androgen receptor to not bind with the androgen with a specific tissue and in this way the androgen will not bind it means the decrease the function of androgen in the blood so it will inhibit the uh, inhibit the progesterone inhibition to not develop endometrium in each cycle so that's cancer inhibition while the combined oral contraceptives the metformin also used for the inhibition of the type 2 diabetes mellitus uh, lead to uh, cure but the p cost will uh, will work more and in this way here the p cost problem will lead to irregular menstrual cycle due to imbalance of hormone and the infertility due to no, no ovulation insulin insensitivity and insulin produces more to cause blood hypoglycemia and adipose tissue increase adipose tissue increase and obesity and the endo, endometrial uh, cancer will lead to uh, will lead to problem so this is the video about the polycystic ovarian syndrome I have I hope you make sense about this and if you like this video please make sure to subscribe like and share ask the question for answer in the comment below and give the suggestion for making a new tutorial about the physiology so thanks for watching bye